Hello and welcome to Reynolds Engineering. In today's session, we'll be discussing about defalsification methods. In the previous session, we have discussed about lambda cut method and maxima method. Today's session, we'll be discussing about Seinfeld method and weighted average method. Seinfeld method is again divided into two types that is centered of sum and centered of gravity. So first let's discuss what is centered of sum method. So here you can see this is a fuzzy set right this is a fuzzy set and there are two figures figure number one and figure number two and this is two triangles are present over here. So for centered method what we have to do we have to calculate the area of each figure and with that we have to multiply its respective centroid so you can see that this is a first figure right and this is a triangle so what is the area of a triangle half base into height this is the area of a triangle so for the first figure let's calculate the area okay so half base will be 3 minus 1 that is 2 and height is 1 okay here you can see height is 1 so half base into height for figure number 1 it will be half base into is 2 height is 1 so it will be your 1 okay area of 1 a1 first figure will be 1 so what will be the area of second figure the area of second figure will also be 1 half base 5 minus 3 is 2 and height is 1 so a2 will also be 1 okay so we got the area of the two figures okay if more number of triangles will be given so we will also calculate the area of the more number of triangles but here only two triangles are given so we are calculating the areas of the two triangle right so after calculating the areas this is the center of some method right so we have to go for calculating the centroid so let's see what is the center of figure number one okay so this is the middle centroid means the middle part so this is the middle part so if i draw a line so two it is coming over here so two is the centroid for figure number one okay two and for the second figure this is the middle point so if i draw a line four so four will be the center of figure number two so we got two areas that is our a1 i got as one and a2 i got as one okay what are the centroid centroid for the first figure it is two and this is the centroid for the second it is four okay so what is the formula the formula this is the formula to calculate Okay, so what the formula says the summation of area, the summation of areas into its centroid. Okay, whatever area will be given, summation of area. Suppose there are n number of figures, i is equal to 1 to n. As there are two number of figures, so i will range from 1 to 2. Okay, summation of area into its centroid divided by summation of all the areas summation of all the areas so here x star x star means the crisp value okay because this is the defuzzification method so x star is summation of area into its centroid divided by summation of all the areas so here what we have got the areas as one so one into two plus four this is again one a2 is one one into four divided by summation of area so one plus one so what we will get six by two this is three right for the this first one we are getting three as our answer so x star is equals to your three okay right so this is the answer okay in this way you can calculate the x star value or the crisp value through centroid of sum methods now let's discuss about centroid of gravity method this is similar to centroid of sum method only a bit of difference okay in the formula so what's the difference the difference is here you can see the denominator is same here also same summation of areas okay and the numerator parts also we have to calculate the summation of areas here only the difference is here we are multiplying it with centroid and here we have to multiply it with it centroid of gravity this is the only difference okay rest of the things are same so now let's discuss the method so for centroid of gravity whatever figure you'll be giving you have to divide the figure into smaller parts you can see through this dotted line these are two figures okay this is a trapezoid this is a triangle the two figures are divided into smaller parts that is five figures. through this dotted line i have divided into five parts first second third fourth and five okay 
and one thing what we have to do here it is center of gravity method that's why we have to calculate the g1 g2 g3 g4 and g5 that is the centroid of gravity of each figure so what we have to do first we have to divide the figure into smaller parts okay and the part which we have divided each parts centroid of gravity we have to calculate right so here there are five areas that is a1 multiplied with g1 plus a2 multiplied with g2 plus a3 multiplied with g3 plus a4 multiplied with g4 plus a5 multiplied with g5 okay and divide as because it is divided into five parts okay divided divided by the uh, what is the denominator the de denominator will be i is equals to 1 to 5 summation of the all the areas summation of all the areas that is a1 a2 a3 a4 to a5 okay so in this through the help of this formula we can calculate the centroid of gravity we can get the x star value of this okay so it's a very easy only difference or uh, if anyone asks you what is the difference just you will tell the everything will be the same just this part will be the difference here we have to calculate the center of earth gravity and here we have to calculate the centroid of sum okay the centroid okay now this is about your centroid methods okay so methods okay i hope you like the video if you like it then do share the video like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching thank you all